Hello YouTube modeling community. This is Rusty Rotor. Cheers. Uh, I got my eye appointment made so I can get I'm having custom glasses made to where they uh, I can read whatever uh, you know type print such as like in instructions all this I can't see real fine tiny print uh, if it I can make it out don't get me wrong it's just it's hard to see uh, and with working on models uh, I want like one pair of glasses that'll do both because normally I don't wear the glasses only when I'm here at the bench you know doing whatever or if I'm reading a book or trying to read instructions for something then then I need glasses so uh, uh, we've got that made uh, the uh, the hair color is coming back in a little bit. Lightening that, that basically is pure white. Uh, you know, I'm 58. I don't want to look like Santa Claus yet. Uh, so, you know, it's a, a wash, little by little. Uh, anyways, the, the theme of this video, uh, and this video is sponsored by Z-Force Model Works. Uh, I want to thank him. Uh, as always, uh, he's a tremendous friend. He's a, he's a great father. He's just a, an overall great human being and an awesome wheel designer. Not to mention anything else he puts his mind to, he can design. Uh, and you know, he's he's a model builder too, guys. Don't don't forget that uh, when you're you know ordering something from him, he is just like us. He likes to build models too, so uh, and has a lot of responsibilities. But we thank him for every time that he sends us something to our channel. Uh, and today we didn't open it, guys. Uh, I usually like a kid in a candy factory. Uh, but I wanted to open this up, you know, live, whatever you want to call it, pre-recorded. Uh, so you guys got to take a look at it. And we are going to in just a minute. Uh, since there will be no video this week, you know, we kind of touched base yesterday on uh, Shorty. I always want to call it Stumpy. I don't know why. Shorty. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at it. Uh, today is the day that we varnish all the frame. Anything that's black other than the tires and wheels, of course, uh, is going to get a, a good coat or two of matte varnish, or not matte, satin. Uh, that will help protect from brushing against the scuffing it and wearing the paint off so I don't have to keep going back and touching up. Uh, and it, and it balances out. If you guys ever, by accident, use flat black where you needed to use a semi-gloss or a gloss, wait until you're done, then come back and use one, whether it be satin matte or gloss, or high gloss, uh, and coat everything at one time. That way, it balances out all those transition colors of black into one, so to speak. So, anyways, yesterday, after we got off here, uh, we were able, we got the uh, air cleaner polished. You can look at that chrome, look at it, it shines just like chrome now. Uh, all the plug wires are ran, uh, the main vacuum lines are ran. Uh, we still got the master cylinder brake booster line to run, but we got the master cylinder in. We just mocked it up, bent our wires, and then now we'll, we'll go through and we'll straighten out these little pigtails, get them more, you know, unified. Uh, we got to do a couple little touch-up spots here and there. Uh, we do have a hole in the back. Remember, that's for the... You see it there. It's for the master cylinder. Uh, we got our coil wire in. And the coil's mounted in place. So, we are ready to mount the engine and trans. We'll get the final drive shaft in. Uh, and get our power steering lines ran. Get our radiator in get our our connections made to that that way then all we're waiting is to marry the body and then we can do our other connections our battery cables heater hoses uh, you know the electrical part of it all all will be done then uh yeah so yeah give you a good look at it let's take a look at it all the way around i mean it's sitting in the cradle right now you know it's it's not tight it would flop out of there but we got you know everything in our fans on now so all intents and purposes this right here is done 
uh, which is good because I mean I'm going to stop working on this for a while and, and focus back on Cecilia uh, the, the pickup truck part uh, diorama uh, I got some stuff to do and we'll as I get drying time in between these I'll move to that and the other projects you guys are all well aware of uh, but yeah I mean that's you know let me know what you guys think you know, if you can see, check those tires out up close and personal you know it's uh the detail in there the brake lines you know all that is chunky monkey all the detail we added uh, you know it kind of blurs in being all black but it's just that's the way the real truck is so uh, we're not going to alter any of that uh, we've had to alter a few things just because you know a real truck is this and a model kit is this even though a model kit can be manipulated into this it's a process of how far do you go on each thing so we got a really good representation of the real truck right now uh so yeah we got that done i'm gonna switch places with it and uh like I said, we got Cecilia, the finished paint is done on it. We'll take a look at that next week. Uh, Shorty is in final primer. We got our trim around our window, the trim on the fender wells. Uh, any little blemish I could see with my eyes and glasses, uh, we've addressed it, smoothed it, primed it. So now we're just ready for a, we'll do a 3000 up to probably 7,000 it's, it, it's quite other than the, the natural scuff you hear but once we hit that with 3,000 that's going to be gone and it'll be glass smooth but we'll take it probably up to about 7,000 uh, and then it will be ready for paint well hours and hours of masking then paint I don't know and figured out what I got myself into here yet, I guess. Uh, and well, while we're talking here for a second, I want to straighten this up. These this is hard to explain because I don't know what they're called. They're basically trim pieces. Uh, you can see right here. Well, on Shorty, just the vertical ones have got the where the black paint would go. His are just chrome strips, so there's no, uh, you know, the model kit. They go all the way around. I, I didn't. I just deepened the vertical ones to represent more, so they'll hold some black paint. I'm going to have to clean this little corner up here just a little bit better. But, uh, so we're, we're contemplating on what we're going to do with the Ford letters, if you remember. I mean, I hope so. It was just yesterday. Uh, the kit decal is a, a close representation of the real thing. Uh, the only difference is it's not chromed around the letters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the decal that best suits it uh, to Terry, uh, my club president, and I'm going to let him look at it and see if he can remake that and then chrome around each one of the black letters or, you know, use a silver or representation of chrome on a, on a printer. Uh, and we're just going to run with that. And because and, it's like a, an aluminum, polished aluminum plate with the letters stamped in it and then, you know, blacked out. Uh, and, and that really, it, kind of plays the part and it'll do just fine but if we can get the the letters outlined on the decal uh we'll be that much better and i gotta have him make a decal for the uh, dashboard right here on his shorty truck it says ranger so we have to have that little decal made too and i wasn't expecting to have to do that but you know it is what it is so my next meeting uh first of next month we'll get these to him and uh he can get those underway, so we're we're pretty much done. And the little, uh, hopefully, uh, Ernest has the little emblem to me by then too. 
That way I can have him make a tiny little decal for the center in the grill that says Ranger. Uh, even though it's so tiny, but at least it'll be there. We know, you know, we know it's there. And the dash. Uh, I'm waiting on Justin to send me a good vertical picture of the cluster. Uh, it's not the same as this. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this, all this interior detail out. And then we're going to put in what uh, Justin has on his dash. Uh, also, this part right here is correct. Two knobs and a ignition switch. This side, you can see my black dot. There's three knobs. And then... Uh, Underneath the stereo, I believe there's another one, two, or three little knobs. So we're going to take all these off, and we're going to use those little, you know, push pins. Uh, the tops of them are chrome. The rest of the base and the shaft of it are, are black. So, you know, we're going to do a little detail work here to this dash. Uh, we might even inadvertently, because in the picture, his uh, ashtray is open. So we might go ahead and uh, get that piece out of there and clean that up real good, and then glue a uh, bottom end, sides, and the back, and that way it represents being open like his. So, you know, I think we can do it, uh, so we might as well. Uh, the steering column, you know, it's already set up. Turn signal, shifter, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, we all know this goes in, if you've ever built a Mobius kit, it goes in here, which is good because this detail right back here that I'm talking about uh, is prevalent in the real truck. Get that on there. So it's good that it's here on the dash. I don't have to scratch build that. So doing some knobs and uh, we're going to use one of the MSD ignition switches and we'll have a key in it. Uh, I need to get some little, uh, you know those little air fresheners that are pine trees? I need about six of those. Uh, again, I don't have thin enough styrene I might be able to do it on paper. I, I don't know. I have to try. But if somebody has those, whether they're 3D printed or uh, photo etch or whatever, I know I've seen them in the photo etch world. I'm, I don't know if they're in the 3D printed world or not. Uh, hit me up. Uh, you know, I'll pay for them. Uh, I'll trade you something for them. Don't matter. Uh, but uh, yeah, I need like six of them. So uh, let me know. Send me an email. Uh, or and notify me down in the comments that you you know you got them and uh, email me. My email is always down below as well, and we'll uh, we'll hash out the the deal. Uh, like I said yesterday, I got diamond plating coming, so we're good on that. Uh, the door cards, these are pretty much spot on to what's in the real truck. Uh, this will all be chrome trim around, chrome knobs, of course. This is black. This is body color. The rest of it's all body color. That's why we got it in primer now. So when we go to shoot paint, uh, we're good. The bench, I got to scratch build the brackets to go on the side. They are chrome. The seat is uh, like a gray pleather up the side here and around the bottom. Uh, and then the inserts here is all like, a, we're going to use flocking. It's like a medium gray. It's, represents cloth. And then we got the pleather in the center. It might be real leather. I don't know. Call it pleather. It could be real leather. But we're going to, you know, duplicate his seat. Uh, real quick, the, and this is where it gets tedious. i got to put that chrome trim around the roof. Uh, and that will be for the headliner, which is white. Sun visors are white. And the rest of the interior is body color. Uh Real quick, back to the dash. The lower dash is body color also, guys. The dash pad is black. So, uh, yeah, we're going to, even though the door, I was thinking about opening the doors on this one. And I was like, I just got too much detail going on to have to fiddle with with doors. I, I, I've never done a Mobius kit to know, you know, back jamming it and how well the, the door cards line up, I, I guess. There would really only be one way to find out. I mean, right here they fit really good, kind of right where everything goes. So, you know, opening the door probably would have been nothing. Uh, I think we'll try it on our, what will be like a parts runner truck or shop truck, uh, which is the other kit we're using for this. 
maybe we'll try to open the doors on that one and see what it's all entailing and uh you know you guys can come along for that but uh anyways we got those we got our gas tank uh what we will do is we'll mock this up in the back it's kind of self-explanatory where it goes uh because of the uh, floor pan and we got the floor pan painted or primed and as you can see guys my hole is covered up once it's flocked you'll never see that now uh whoops it's on yeah that was right there's a little indentation there but when it's flocked you're not going to see that uh this will be body color up here and a little bit to the size of the rest is all, where it's carpet is going to be carpet uh this will be probably black up here but this just, you know, snaps onto the back of your uh, floor pan like that. So I can see and indicate where I need to run my fuel line. Uh, we did get the hole drilled in the uh, engine or the fuel fuel pump. Uh, we'll put a fuel filter down on the frame. And yeah, so we'll know. So it's pretty much where that last little, right there, that little last indentation right there. That's probably where we'll drill up, and that's where we'll feed our fuel line out of. And the back of it will be up inside here, and never, never see, be seen again. Uh, but if you're ever wondering about a Mobius kit, I mean, how fan, why people brag on these things, it's because of this stuff right here. As long as you don't get a warp kit, you know, I'm not saying they're perfect, but they're not usually they'll friction fit pretty good but right there the whole interior is together now and the seat fits down in there like it's supposed to uh the seat goes in before the door carts because of the armrests but there just like that and then the dash believe it or not guys it, 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 the whole interior just right there I mean, it goes together so nice. And I know everybody knows about Mobius kits and, you know, you're aware of everything. But some people aren't. And that's why I, I, I talk about those kind of things. Just, you know, you already know. Ignore me. You know, this is mainly for people that don't know. Don't ever shy away from a Mobius kit. Even the price. It's worth it. Uh, the older truck kits I have found, are, they don't have the warping issues. Some slight issues but they're very easily to even for the the novice uh modeler to fix and correct uh the, the severely warped ones i would immediately contact mobius and let them know and let them send you a new kit uh but yeah i mean it, it goes together slick as snot so uh we're proud of that we also scratch built his antenna it's hard to see you know, the the base of this is like two colors. The bottom is black, which would be the rubber garment. And then the top is like a chrome decorative piece. And then the antenna itself. So we'll, we'll get that put up for now so we don't lose it. Uh, and I thought I lost the coil. I had it painted on the end of the toothpick, so I robbed the other coil. It's no big deal. They're both the same, so I put the other one back in the box. We scratch built our muffler, our header flanges. There's a hole drilled in it. That's for the... The tube to go into our mufflers are painted i got it to black wash those uh and i cut the ends off because our our pipe probably be a little bit bigger so i'll i'll put it in that end uh and then and run with it so there's that uh and i think that's it yeah everything's final primer guys we're, you know, we're golden. We'll do our final sanding. We'll give it a good wash. Let it dry really good. Blow it off. Uh, we'll de-static it. Or whatever the word would be. De de we don't want no static electricity on it when we go to paint. Uh, and then we'll mix up our colors. I think what we're going to do is we'll paint the whole truck white first. Because it's a two-part two, two part paint. There's a base coat and then the pearl coat. Uh, and we'll let that cure. We'll put it in the incubator. Love that word, Matthew, by the way. I, I, every time, next time I see you, I want to discuss that with you because I, I find it very hilarious. Now, it, it is an incubator in his case because it's for chicken eggs. You incubate the chicken eggs. It's basically the same thing as a dehydrator. 
Uh, but mine is a dehydrator. Uh, so we'll get it all painted white. We'll get it in the dehydrator. Uh, we will save the color sanding until we get both colors on it. And then once that, we can do our masking for the, the uh, teal color. The roof is white and, you know, half the body is white also. So we just, uh, I think, I don't even think the, the hood is teal. So we don't even have to worry about getting that painted right now. Uh, but we will paint it, you know what I'm saying? Because the white is going to change the appearance of the teal. And I'm going to try on spoons first to see which route I'm going to go. I may go ahead and mask off everything that is going to be white and then spray the white and then come back and spray the teal instead of spraying all white. I, I'm not for sure yet, but it was, I'm trying to think of a, an easier avenue and maybe I need to take the harder avenue. Uh, everything's going so well right now. I don't want to, you know, jinx myself, but yeah, so we will get some parts in this week. Uh, not this week, next week. We'll get our bumper done. We'll get our step steps on the sides done. Uh, those will have to get chromed. This will have to get chromed. I need to strip the chrome. That's what I'll do today. Uh, after a while, I'm waiting for the uh, varnish to dry. Is to get that chrome stripped. So now, boys, come safely wrapped, protected. You know, Ryan Jones, you outdo yourself every time. I've not really, I've seen a glimpse of what these look like, but not really. So let's uh, cut it open here. You might want to do a drum roll. See, cut it open. And what do you find inside? Put that down for now. Another envelope. Oversized and double wrapped. So, you know, he's always cautious on his, his shipping. Which I like too. Uh, takes pride in his uh, his stuff. Make sure so I can plastic bags. Make sure you get everything out. Okay, so he's got them labeled for us as usual. Uh, we'll go over these first. Uh, these are available at Zforce Model Works uh, dot com. His website. Uh, these are eighteen dollars plus shipping. These are Z28s, 19s and 20s. So if you wanted a Resto Mod, like a uh, 79 to an 80, I think 80, 80 or 81 was the last year for that body style Camaro with these wheels. I mean, they kind of look like Kregers, but they're not. Uh, they say Z28 in the center of the uh, center cap. We'll get them out. Uh, we're going to take a little time here. We don't want to go too long. We're 20 minutes. I don't want to go over 45 minutes, so we'll, we'll zoom through this pretty quick. But these, you know, ooh, nice. And the, the rings are separate, so you can chrome them. And then usually they're like a the, match the body color or charcoal gray. Uh, get it up here so you guys can see. Maybe that, I mean, it's pretty prominent. You can slightly see it there. It's it It's tiny. But it's on there. Uh, nice tread pattern as usual. Uh, here's the back tires. You know, the sleeve is separate. These will need a little clean up on the back. Back of the wheel and the back of the tire. Just clean them up and then this is what I use. I only, only I use mat. Uh, to, after I clean them up. And that gives me my little sheen back. Uh, so yeah, you know, nice set of tires and wheels. Again, eighteen dollars available at Z Force Model Works. See, I'm not hiding nothing. You guys see everything. That's the truth. Ryan, don't say one price and then oh, well, oh, I need to charge. He doesn't do any of that, guys. You're getting a legit set of tires and wheels, what you wanted, and the price that was quoted to you. Now these are cool. These I have a build for. Uh, I've got some similar to this, but not this look. And this is, I want these for it. Uh, this is a, uh, where'd it go? A, it's an Aoshima kit. It's a Sylvia, Nissan Sylvia. Uh, these are 
F I K S E Fikes. I, I, I can't pronounce that. F M five. Eighteen by nine and eighteen by thirteen. Two piece wheels. Also available in nineteen by ten, nineteen by thirteen. Uh, so you can get a little wider tire in the front too. Z Force Model Works, eighteen dollars. Great trade pattern. You guys can just see them up there. Up. I don't want to make this video too long. We'll get one out. I mean, the, the back ones are the same, just a little different size. But yeah, I've been waiting on him to come out with these. They're a little more, see how they're protruded out. Uh, the ones I have are protruded in. Uh, that would be for like a rear wheel drive car. I would I would use these on a front wheel drive car. So that's just, that Sylvia, even though it's rear wheel drive, I still want that Ford, uh, look of the wheel so uh these will be going on that my son bought me that kit uh i think he brought it back from japan or i got it at a christmas time no I, he got it for me at christmas time and uh i think it has a set of wheels similar to this but they're not near as nice as these so yeah we'll we'll put these on it so i'll get those put up in the box with them uh this set I have a truck in mind for these. Uh, these aren't like what was on mine. But, you know, resto mining a wheel, it, it changes your whole perspective of the truck. So these are OBS F-150s. Uh, Ford, guys. Uh, 20 by 9, 20 by 12s. Uh, available at Z-Force Model Works. These are $16. Alternate size is 20 by 9 and 20 by 10.5. So if you don't want to do any modifying to the rear, you know, I would go with the 10.5. It'd be a lot easier to fit that up into a just a box stock build and not have to worry about it. Uh, we'll get these out. These do have separate center caps. Uh, and I don't think these are two-piece wheels. No, these are a one-piece wheel. So there you go. There you go. Very nice detail. You've got that little lip right there on the face of that. Uh, good looking tire. These will need a little cleanup as well. And then we've got our center caps. I'm not taking these out because I'll lose them. But they just like look like a standard Ford center cap. For each wheel so it makes it easier to paint and detail and then put it all together for the final uh these are going to go on the uh how about steve touch my nose and then i gotta sneeze uh where's that <coughs> uh shite where'd it go I think it's up underneath the desk over here for the yard. Uh... Excuse me, the uh, diorama table. Uh, I'm using the. Oh, it's using it. Hey, God. Ah. Uh... Well, no, it's there. It is. It's up in the cardboard box. It's a kit that I've had for a while, and. Uh... I never thought about, you know, putting like a OEM style wheel on it, but then, you know, when I saw Ryan design these, it's got the, you know, the little offset, staggered, low profile. I was like, wow, you know what? That brings it all back around and would look good. These will look good on the old Mobius trucks. Prime example. Give you an idea. You know, it, this is the back tire, but still. Up in there. Get our big finger out of the way. Good good tires and wheels to use on the, the Mobius kits too. Uh, real nice retro look. The new age tire and wheel just retroed out and uh, throw a coyote engine down in there. Put a uh, 
uh, what do you call it, the uh, Mustang 2 front suspension underneath the front. Uh, maybe a uh, Jaguar rear suspension. So you have, you know, Yeah, these, I like these. Yeah, it's like Christmas morning, guys. You know, I, I know, I get it. You know, he sends me these, you know, basically once a month. And, and, and it's a nice thing. Uh, we both, we both get a little something out of it. Uh, and, and it's a mutual thing. Plus, we're, we're friends, you know, we've grown that friendship. And I, anybody that does something and, and I find it interesting, I don't care if anybody else does or not, but I'm going to boast about it. I'm going to promote it. I'm going to do all I can for that person to help them out. And, you know, one way is hundreds of people watch these videos here on YouTube and they all get to see uh, Ryan Jones's product and then they know who, how to get a hold of him, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there's a new Camaro coming out. Uh, it's the box art is for the uh, Stranger Things show, which was a great show, by the way. Uh, and you know, there's a, a Z28 in that. These would be perfect for that. Uh, I'll be getting two of those kits. Uh, one to build a replica of my own car that I had as a teenager, and, and one of the blue Z28. That's my favorite color of that year body style. Uh, and these will be going on that. Uh, these will go on that Sylvia. It's a drift car. Uh, it's got a green Sylvia on the box art. Aoshima. Oshima. Whatever. It's hard to pronounce six different ways. And then these are going on that, that truck build or truck kit I got. I, I can't remember the year. It was. There's parts missing and I, I'm going to have to put stuff together, but uh, it'll be a, a, a future build. Uh, it won't be this year, but. Uh, hopefully, you know, if I'm still around and kicking next year, maybe we'll get it out and we'll, we'll get started on it. But again, thank you to Ryan Jones. All these wheels, remember, are available at Ryan's website while they last. Uh, and then they'll probably go to Colts. So, uh, $18, $18, and $16. Pretty good price. Uh, you know, $4, $5 for shipping. And uh, still, you know, under $30 for an aftermarket set of tires and wheels. And you guys have seen these. I've painted these by hand. I've airbrushed them. You know, I've done them every which way possible. And uh, the next thing I want to do is I want some of that, I want to get some of that powder that you put on. And then you burnish that powder out and it turns chromish, like a black chrome or chrome chrome. Uh, I want to try a set of wheels with that stuff. But I haven't found it yet. And I need to. to to get, I want to get a little bit of it, and I want to try it out on a set of the wheels, and see see what the the finish look on it looks like. Uh, I think that'd be a good technique to do on some of these wheels. But again, guys, uh, Ryan's website or his link is always down below. Go check him out. Get you a set of wheels. You're going to love them. You're going. These are like models, guys. You buy, you get addicted to them. You want another set. You want another set. You want another set. Caution. Only get what you're going to plan to use them for, you know. So if you got 15 models sitting up there on the shelf, and you're, you know you're going to build those 15 models, and you're just itching to find a set of wheels, go check out Ryan Jones. If you're a 3D printer, go to Colts. His page on Colts. Very well priced, and then you can print out as many sets as you want, you know. Give give them, give them away, trade them for, with friends. Uh, or with me, you never know. Uh, these teaser pleaser giveaways I do, I always put a set or two wheels in those things, and uh, we'll see what happens here. So I thank you guys, uh, as usual, from our past, present, future subscribers. Uh, re remember, guys, uh, keep Terry, Terry Senior, Hobby Barn in your prayers. Uh, he's at home. He's uh, managing, he's with hospice, uh, and, you know, he can use every little bit of prayers uh, that he can get, and hope, hopefully he can uh, recover, and uh, we'll get to see him again soon. Uh, he's a tremendous guy. Uh, 
He he is. I, I've met him once in person now. I've talked to him many, many, many times. Uh, I've I've communicated with him while he's on the lives, uh, and he's just an all around, you know, to me a a super nice guy, uh, and he is worthy of every bit of prayers that we can get out there for him. Uh, there's a lot of people in the, the modeling community, some we don't know about, some we do know about, we've heard about. Uh, you know, when you get ready to lay down at night and maybe when you get a moment in the day, just stop and uh, say a little prayer for them. Uh, you know, it does it does go a long way, guys. Uh, a lot of people don't think it does. A lot of people think it do. Uh, or they do. So, uh, got nothing to lose by just doing it. Uh, it's not going to hurt you. It's not. It's not costing you money to do. It's not costing you anything but a few minutes of your time. Uh, so, get get him out there, guys. Uh, and if you get a chance, talk to Terry. Uh, if he's ever on, he's on live. Get on there and chat with him. He's just uh, one one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Uh, so, you know, along with uh, everybody else. I was watching Sean's videos. You know, he's been sick for the past couple of weeks. Uh, I hope he gets to feeling back to 100%. Uh, you know, and there's there's a lot of other people out there. Take take the time to find out. Say say a little prayer for him. Uh, like I said, you ain't got nothing to lose. Just just a few minutes of time, uh, and everybody's got a few minutes of time to spare. And that leads me to this: if you're not subscribed. Please subscribe. Hit that bell notification while you're at it. You'll know when these videos come out. Flood my comments. We're trying to kind of do this channel the old-fashioned way. Uh, we've thrown a little glitz and glam in there with my editor, but she's down right now, so uh, we have to do this the uh, old-fashioned way again. I know that's not as exciting, but you know we're we're just fighting our way to try to get somewhere, and you know. I'm not trying to get monetized. I'm not trying to do any of that. I, I just want to build this channel and get as many subscribers as I can and have everybody enjoy my channel uh, for what it is. And it's this. A lot of talking. I show you my progress on things. I, I share my ideas with you. Any new product I find that I find is really good and I can get it for a good price, I share that with you. And that's what this channel is all about. Uh, again, uh, I'll be going out of town this weekend, so you guys won't see a video come up Friday. Uh, we should be back Monday with a video. Uh, I am expecting a couple things in the mail. Nothing super exciting, but it's things for the shop, and it, help, and it helps me stay on track, focused, and organized. So, again, guys, if you want to share your builds with me, just send, send pictures of them to my email. I'll be glad to look at them. If you got any questions, I'll be glad to answer anything. If any time you want to know how I do something, you just got to ask. That's it. And I'll, I'll make a little video showing how I do it. Uh, or I'll, I'll explain it in an email to you. And if that's not enough, then I will do a video uh, step by step. Uh, I'm here to help however I can. Uh, remember, guys, I've got boxes of parts. Uh, they are dwindling down. We're down to about half the amount now. So... Uh, you guys just gotta let me know what what you're looking for, and blah blah, blah and I'll let you know if I have it. And if so, you know, you cover the cost of shipping, and, and it's yours. Uh, and I'll even throw in a few extra stuff. I'm trying to weed this stuff out. Uh, you guys just gotta let me know. Send me an email, uh, and we'll uh, we'll hash it out. Same way with what was I looking for? It's in the video, guys. Just watch the video from beginning to end. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you guys have a, a great rest of your week and weekend, and we'll see you here again next week. This is Rusty Rotor. I'm out.